yeah so in our previous class we were uh, discussing something about organic reactive intermediates right uh, we tried to understand what are carbenes and nitrines different type of your carbenes and nitrines and their reactivity how to generate this organic reactive intermediates so one more uh, part which i have to cover in photochemistry is uh, uh, remote functionalization okay um, you can in that we can discuss about barton reactions uh, we can discuss about offman and some photochemistry of hypoallylates okay so today class we will be talking on a remote functionalization So, what I exactly mean here is that I have a system like this. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I want to do some functionalization on this carbon which is nowhere connected to your it has it, it has no connection with any other function group it's just a methyl so i want to functionalize this methyl uh, it's very hard you know, because like if it is an allylic then you can think about if for example if it is an allylic system i want to functionalize it what do you do normally you do an nbs reaction right you you take allylic system and you do n bromosuccinamide then you get an allylic bromide and from there you can do whatever conversion you want functional group conversion but if you have a system like this which is very remote this methyl okay and if you want to functionalize this methyl then this type of reactions are very important okay now one of the famous reaction for that is your button button reaction is very famous in remote functionalization how you do this is that you take any alcohol like uh, your cyclopentanol <coughs> or cyclobutanol not cyclobutanol then you treat it with nocl in pyridine okay so you end up with okay you can end up with your o n o fine now you fertilize this part so what happens once you fertilize this you know this is your weakest bond the o n bond okay so it can undergo, undergo a proper homolytic cleavage okay so if it undergoes a homolytic cleavage then <coughs> you can end up with an o dot plus you know dot <coughs> then what happens so it can abstract a proton right so if I write like this, then you can think about your six member transition states, right. So, you can nicely abstract a proton. Creating me a C dot. So, now this can react with your NO dot because that is in the solution. To get you what? Can I put like because it is a right with your NO there and this can easily tetamerize
So you get your NOH, right? So basically what I am doing is, uh, I am just functionalizing your remote carbine. Once you get your oxygen, then you know how to do, uh, sorry, there is no dot there. Once you get your oxygen, then you know. You can do many things with your oxygen then. Uh, you can convert into different functional group. There are many reactions. So, basically I can functionalize my remote carbon without doing anything. And this type of reactions are like goes uh, like most of the time 70 to 80 percentage conversion. So, no need to worry about much there. Clear? Hmm? This is your button reaction. We will take another example. Sorry, it is OH, okay. Then you you end up with when no right you take now i fertilize this get your o dot plus n o dot so, where you can abstract hydrogen or does it, uh, it has several possibility to abstract an hydrogen. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. If it is abstract from 6, then what member ring you are getting? Uh, type of 7 member, right? It is not ring, 7 member cyclic transition state. Right. If you abstract from 5, then you can think about some 6 member cyclic transition state more like that. So, it abstracts from 5. Hmm? The radical here, then you know what happens, then your NO dot followed by your tetramerization to give you or you can so you can take this This Barton reactions are uh, famous, uh, got famous because you can do this uh, remote functionalization in uh, basically natural products. Okay. Um, you can see many reactions have been done in natural products using Barton reaction. Because the one of the best example I will take is. So, this method most of the time is, yeah, that is what uh, once you started writing, you know uh, natural products drawing that. It is always nice to, this method also should be in this question, and you will have a OH, and this hydrogens will be in the down plane, and you have another hydrogen which I can draw here. If I want to draw SM hydrogen, it should be here like this, right. So, this uh, so if you keep practicing writing natural products structures, it is always nice. 
you know how to draw the methyls, mostly angular methyls we call it. See now, <coughs> whenever you take natural products for example, like uh, you, you look for most of the time is activity, right. Uh, you, you take natural products for example, like many of the natural products are fungicidal and you have insecticidal activities. Like you in neem tree, most of your terpenoids from neem tree are insecticidal. <coughs> what is that famous uh, compound which you get it from neem tree, which is uh, it's azadiractant. Okay. Azadiractant, I think it is 1 milligram, uh, it is cost about like 700, uh, uh, yeah, something close about 100 dollars. It is really expensive one, but you can easily extract it from your um, neem. So, azadiractants are a different type like A, B, C, D, E, F like that and they are very good, in, they have very good insecticidal activity. Okay. Because what happens is azadiractant is mo more like a terpenoid they uh, mimic 20 beta hydroxy ecdysone. Have you heard about that? 20 beta hydroxy ecdysone is type of a juvenile hormone which insect has, which makes the insect to move from its uh, uh, childhood to youth age and then it goes to older age. So, what happens this uh, azadiractin indica goes into the insect just overlaps with your 20 beta hydroxy ecdysone. And uh, because of that, the insect becomes, they bypass their youth age and become directly old. So, in the youth age, most of the time the insects eat lot. So, now one, you can over, you can bypass them. Now. And if you go in excess, they, they even kill them. Okay. So, and why that is more important is that this type of positions, right, if you take azar direct and this there is a position at OH where in the 20, 20 beta, beta hydroxy OHs. Okay. If that OH is not there, then the activity is completely lost. So, that is why the, the particular OHs and their stereochemistry in natural products plays a very important role. Uh, one OH if you change, one methyl if you want to change, you can see tremendous increase in the activity or you can see activity goes completely down. Okay. So, for example, I have a methyl here okay. I am thinking like that I want to functionalize it. It is basically a structure activity relationship study. Okay. So, I want to functionalize this methyl to see whether the activity of this particular compound increases or not. Okay. So, how to functionalize? Because it is a very remote angular methyl. You cannot functionalize by any very good synthetic method. It is very hard to functionalize this. In that case, you can use your Barton reactions. Okay. So, what happens if I put NOCL in pyridine, So, I am going to make this right, I will get this if I put in a nose here. Yeah, other stereochemistry is much preserved. Like I can have my hydrogen here and I can, yeah, these are all like maintenance. Now, if I fertilize. What will happen? You know this step.
to get this right. So, what this O dot does? If I go 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, it can pick this hydrogen right. type of C S 2 dot here I get get my OH. Fine. Then you know that N O dot can come in and further it can undergo a tatamerization to give me This can be anywhere, this oxime can be this direction or that direction. Um, now, if you take this, okay, this particular molecule and uh, put, because you get this as a photo product, you take this compound, make a NOCL pyridine, then you photolyze, you get this as a photo product. Okay. If you put nitrous acid, you take this compound and uh, stir it in nitrous acid, what will happen? Oxime chemistry. Huh? For example, I am writing like this for you. I am again writing the same structure, but you do not write. So, if I put it in nitrous acid, what do you expect? So, I can see the structure activity of this compound also. So, I know then methyl has some activity. So, it, you end up with a nice end up with a nice product. Just try this mechanism okay, and let me know because it is oxygen mechanism which you know what happens in nitrous acid if you have an OH as well as you have an oxide. See this type of systems can you can now it has an OH. Okay. You can think about see always your amine OHS which can have like sort of hydrogen bonding interactions with your um, say how you design a drug molecule. If you someone wants to design a drug molecule or someone wants to design you a molecule which can be a fungicide, how you go through? What will be your how you look forward? What will be your first instinct? 
if someone wants you to design a some molecule for some particular uh, disease. Yeah, first you have to find out your receptor, okay. You know how the receptor should be, right. You, nowadays you have very good method where you people crystallize protein also. Right? So you know your receptor site. So once you know your receptor site, okay, if it is like, like this with a OH and amine like protruding, then you design your molecule so that which has a carbonyl and go and attach with your receptor site. That is how you build up your molecules, right. So, in that case you having an OH, carbonyls, amines, they have also more important role to play because they might have secondary interactions like hydrogen bonding, all these things happening with your receptor site, fine. So, that is how uh, th these are very important, functionalization, remote type of functionalizations. Any doubt? Okay. Now, we will take one another good application. This is a material. This is OH and you have a material. Yeah, the method should be, if it want to be drawn properly. Right, I have a structure like this. Yeah, you can write it properly like this. So I have no cell pyridine. Okay, so I will just write the. So called button reaction. So, what happens if I do button? I fertilize this. What product do you expect? After Tata and recession and all these things, what product do you expect? See if I count one, two, three, four, five. Right? So, I will end up with So, then you know if I put nitrous acid what will happen, then you can have a type of cyclization. You want to write the structure, what happens if I put, try by yourself.
So, end up with a molecule like this. These are, these are good examples which you should <coughs> really start to understand. Because how uh, this type of Offman reactions are very, uh, sorry, Batten reactions are very important. People use lot because of their remote functionalization idea, okay, which you cannot try to do with other compounds. See, other synthetic procedures are very hard. This is very, very simple to be. One more, uh, uh, one more applications I will try with off with button. Again, a type of natural product. Even sometimes you have to think like how this uh, radicals react all these things which is very important. Uh, so, now if you at yeah, this part you know NOCL in pyridine which you happy to draw. Now, I photolyze. So, you okay, if I photolyze this one, this is little bit different from exact button. Plus another. Now, what do you think? What will happen? See, it does not work. That is what uh, radical chemistry little bit you should uh, use your radical. Again, it is a button type of reaction, but where you want. Um, so, it should be somewhere here, right? which ring you, you have, I can just name number for you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 something like that. So, from where you want to pick it up. Any good guess? Huh? 5 position. Uh, that's why. Uh, that's what one thing you should always understand is that, see, uh, since you are looking into Barton, see, you have an NO dot radical with your uh, so-called terpenoid with an alkoxy radical, and you know alkoxy radicals are highly reactive. Okay, it's not like that much stable to be in the solution. Okay, so what happens immediately? It tries to cyclize with here to form a epoxide, so that it can generate a radical in C4. Fine. So, yeah, I will just um, write the structure, you will know that. So, what happens here is that see your o, o radical can easily form an epoxy like this, yeah. then you, you can generate a radical here. Till it waits for your uh, NO dot to come and pick up the proton. Okay, alkoxy radicals are highly reactive, so immediately it forms because it can see an olefinic there, so it forms a C center radical. Okay. This C center radical then can react with your NO dot.
so nice to do this type of reactions because now you are ending up with the epoxide as well as your oxide. Fine. Uh, so, uh, that is how you can do remote functionalization using your functional group OH. Okay. If you have an OH functional group, you want to functionalize your C5, okay. then you can convert your OH to your nitride using your and then do your button reaction. Fine. Okay. Now, there is another reactions where if you have an amine type of system and you can do the same thing. Previously, we were talking about OH, right? For example, I have a type of an amine system okay, and I want to functionalize this hydrogen. Just instead of OH, if I have an amine. Uh, what this reaction you call it? You have studied this reaction in your bachelor's. You want to functionalize this hydrogen if you have it. Anyone? It is called as Hoffman of Clar. Freitag reaction. This does not uh, you, you does not need to do in photolysis F R E Y T A G Hoffman loss of reaction. Yeah, uh, normally people call it as Hoffman reaction, okay, because like you have not seen this part, but just I want to know that all the authors should be there. Hmm? Uh, this reaction normally people do in synthetic lab also. It goes uh, very nice. So, if I put HCl, okay, for example, or HCl or basically even not HCl, okay, do not write HCl. If I, I can, I can, how you can chlorinate this? I want to add this part. I want this product. No, 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 Cl two. Any other? That's good. Any other? How many good methods? Lot. PCL does not work if you have NH. Nah? Any synthetic idea? Come on, man. Very simple that you have NHR, you want to take your secondary amine type of secondary amine and make it N chlorinated, that is all. Yeah, in chlorine, if you put some little bit base, yes, it happens. Okay, uh, any other good synthetic approach? Looks to be simple reaction, na? Yeah, we we will come back that. You just keep give a try on that. Um, if you make this compound, okay, and it's called N chloro uh, derivatives. You can call N chloro derivatives. You can even make N bromo derivatives. Okay. Uh, now, if you put sulfuric acid or in just heat or you can use light, whatever you want, you can heat or you can light.
and then when you work up with a base like OH minus, this normally people do that is why I am saying you get a heterocyclic nitrogen heterocyclic compounds in a very simple fashion. You does not need to even heat this uh, light, you can just heat the solution in the, in the acid and uh, once you heat then, then you work it up with your base and everything, it gets cyclized in situ to give you this uh, nitrogen heterocyclic compound. Okay. Many reactions have been done based on this, we will see first the mechanism and we will see some application of this, uh, what molecules you can make out of it. I have this called compound. So, I put it in sulfuric acid, okay, H plus. What will happen? Sort of get a salt, right? Get a salt and chloro salt. Do you want to get that? And then if you heat or if you fertilize, again you end up with a nice homolytic cleavage. So, then you know that it can abstract because it is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, it forms an I 6 membered. Hmm? Yes. So, what is your solution is? Your solution is again with your N chloro system is there, no? that can give you a chlorine atom or your chlorine dot is there always. So, like just like your button. You get this, then in the base, because you are going to work it up, okay. So, you are going to neutralize the system and then you have to take your compound out. So, your base can, sorry, NR with their chlorine. So, your serial minus comes out, regular synthetic mechanism to give me a cyclic heterocyclic compounds. So, you can uh, looks to be mechanistic path looks to be stepwise, okay, but uh, once you do the reaction it is simple. Yeah, once you fertilize this, this, this part, it is very hard to isolate this part, okay. it is in situ this one, before fertilizers, this part, yeah, yeah, this you can isolate. No, you can carry out in the same reaction mixture, the whole process, nothing wrong in it. Yeah, because you are, yeah because it is H plus, you can do this, because your Cl dot can come out. Even you can do, this reaction goes nice if you are doing with your iodine. Iodine also it does very nice reaction with this, iodine, bromine, 
chlorine. Okay. But bromine iodines are much more favored. And um, you can see interesting applications are done on this. That will be a lot of lot of work has been done on this particular reaction. Let us see one good application. I take this compound, okay. sulfuric acid, you can heat or you can shine light. So, what product you expect? You get a very nice product in this reaction. One will be the major one, one you get a side one, both are interesting products. What will happen? So, you have to, the best way is to number it okay, rather than thinking lot. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? you know it takes from your, so it should be just a type of sort of ER remain. That you get sort of this because your uh, this goes ab abstracts an hydrogen, then your Cl dot comes back and sits there. So I'm not writing the full mechanism; just I'm writing because you know it. Now, interestingly, if you put it in, uh, since you are working up, what you can expect? What you seen here? In this earlier case, what you have seen? Your C L and your <coughs> so, hmm? you, for, you form a bond between your carbon which is connected to your chlorine. <coughs> Can you try the same stuff? So, what is that? That's all. Azar bicyclo obtain. So, if you think like um, there is another possibility which you can, which is not major, but it happens also. What another possibility you can think of? Just from theoretical point of view. It can even take from this a uh, little bit because it is uh, have the, then what you get if it takes from CH3 here. Can you write the product after sodium hydroxide? What that compound is called? It is a very nice compound named. Hmm? Get this, no? what is this? Very good, connect reading. Mm -hmm. so, that is why I say this type of reactions are very important and they are being used in lot because you end up with nice, you can make azar bicycloheptane, you can make of clinic cleaning, 
Um, any other, uh, do you know any good base which has like this DAPCO? Ne? Heard about DAPCO, right? Diaza, bicyclo, octadecin, DBU, diaza, bicyclo, undecin. These are all very good bases. Ne? Uh, sometime if your reaction does not want a nucleophile, your base should act as proper base. Okay. The DAPCO, DBU cannot act as a nucleophile most of the time. Uh, because of their very big steric nature. So, they act as a very good base. Hmm? Okay. We will take uh, this particular example, another example. See, you start appreciating the name reactions or this type of reactions when you, once you start knowing their applications. Okay. It is not like knowing like what is uh, Offman, that is all, or, or what is Barton. It is not like it is it is more about knowing their applications where they are really used then you can start enjoying the name reactions and then you know how these reactions are becoming popular. Hmm? You can do many things right now also. So, that is all, nah? your fifth carbon. So, what is the product? Uh, even next step like first step is concentrated sulfuric acid and your second step is sodium hydroxide. What will be your product? Nothing, right? it should be straightforward. So, this C L will go there, then you have to connect your nitrogen to this, that is all. For example, if I want to write like this, right? Yes or no? Hmm? Sometimes you can even get your six. That is also possible the 6 hydrogen, then you will end up with this compound you have studied. You get both of this, but this dominates across this one, but looks this to be more stable. Yeah? So, that is why this uh, remote functionalization reactions are very important. Uh, you, this have been people are doing this, does not need uh, that is what I am saying this reaction does not need light also. Just you take the compound, heat it in the acid medium, then work it up you end up with the good products. Right? Another natural products which people are making in large scale using this reaction which you Even you can try in your lab now. Some reactions have been done tried even in microwave. I don't know. What product you can think about? So, if I say first step is sulfuric acid. 
the second you want to use a little bit of base it can heat or you fertilize can you write the product any product so what happens first step you end up with in it so 1 2 3 and br and then you get a nice cyclization right So, I can start doing my bicyclorines as a type. Even you can make lactams also by using this, you can make lactam chemistry, hmm? it is a very popular chemistry of, of this character. <coughs> so, the this is one type. Uh, these are the two main reactions, one using your OH and another is your using your NO. Another one import, another, <coughs> another way you can uh, make your reactions remote functionalization is using your OCL. What do you call this? Hypoallides, right? Uh, you can hypochlorides, yeah, you can generally hypoallides, photochemistry of hypoallides are known. Okay. If you fertilize again you do your same button reaction, same like button reaction. So, <coughs> get your OH, then you get your CL, okay. same your button and this <coughs> interestingly cyclizes to give you oxygen <coughs> 5 member ring. See in Hoffman you saw nitrogen 5 member rings, you can make nitrogen type of 5 member rings, here you can make oxygen type of 5 member rings. Okay. This we call as photochemistry of hypoallides. So, these are the three main reactions by which you can uh, functionalize your remote carbons. Right? One is your Barton, another is your Hoffman and your hypoallides. Okay? So, uh, that sense our uh, most of your photochemistry. Okay? Uh, so, thanks.